1985, it was reported that some flocks of sheep in the town of Blanelfastiniog in Wales had been quarantined. Without that, millions of pounds worth of infrastructure would have become obsolete. What had they done and how had they done it? I'll give you that one more time. In 1985, it was reported that some flocks of sheep in Blanofestiniog, Wales, had been quarantined. Without that safety measure, millions of pounds of infrastructure would have become obsolete. What had they done and how had they done it? The question's phrased like the sheep did something. <laughs> like, what, no, like, uh, what have they done? So I'm thinking the sheep ate something? Ate something poisonous or...? I mean, you're absolutely right. This is, this is on the sheep. This is 100% this is the, on the sheep's sheep. yeah, doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what, what can a sheep do? <laughs> I mean, not, not much. I got to film a video about sheep herding a while back and uh, it's, it's not much. So the, uh, the, the millions of pounds of infrastructure, that's just general like sheep processing equipment, I would imagine. Like, like shearing equipment, whatever they use to process mutton, that kind of stuff. This is like a really far out there thing. But I'm thinking, okay, what if the sheep ate something that had like all termites in them or something? And then you know how termites like uh, eat through walls and stuff like that? That's why, where I'm connecting like destroying infrastructure and how much a sheep is actually capable of doing. Can termites survive the gut bacteria of a sheep? Maybe they were like termite eggs. Termites can survive a lot. Uh, but Britain doesn't have them. <laughs> this is a video I didn't oh. get to film. Um, Britain, Britain had them for 25 years in one house, and the government spent what? 25 years and a lot of money stopping that termite infestation from spreading because we don't have them. They spent an no enormous way. amount, but that was, that was in Devon, not Wales. That's, sorry, that's not on my notes. That's just a video I'm annoyed I didn't find out, out, find out about in time before they, they got rid of the termites and the house is safe now. Damn. <laughs> so... Is Wales terribly relevant? No, no, not at all. This is just a lovely just story from Planalfastiniog. Yes. Also, okay, I enjoy good. saying the words Planalfastiniog. So, <laughs> understandable. Unfortunately, like there is a lot in there. There is uh, electric mountain in near Planalfastiniog. There's a big. Oh yes, with the with the big water, yeah, uh, the dynamo. Yeah, it's brilliant. Reversible hydroelectric plant for pump storage. Again, nothing to do with that. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> is that not into Norwich? Uh, it's next to Blanofastiniog. Oh, very cool. Um, so we've gathered that all sheep can do is just eat stuff and kind of be there. That's their whole thing. Okay, That's so true. The, yeah, the causality we've got to figure out is a sheep eats something and that potentially has that has the potential to make millions of pounds of equipment obsolete. It's not about eating things. It's certainly oh, something oh. a sheep did, but they had to quarantine oh. that flock. Did, did a sheep make love? to something inappropriate <laughs> to, to infrastructure this <laughs> can, a, can a sheep make love <laughs> oh, getting philosophical th again Luke. Thus, thus spake the vegan <laughs> <laughs> so maybe the sheep got ill maybe I, I feel like the sheep getting ill and being quarantined is too too straightforward for this show well, but there's a clear there's a clear causality as to how a bunch of sheep getting ill could cause a load of equipment to go obsolete. Because if if that entire flock of sheep, say there's a few million pounds worth of equipment for like this giant flock of sheep, um, and if they infected other sheep, then that would mean all the sheep have it, which would make all of their maybe make all their meat um, unusable, maybe make all their wool unusable, um, which would mean that all the equipment that's used to to kill them and take their wool is also then obsolete until they can replace all of the sheep. Yeah, we are. When, when I say millions of pounds of infrastructure would become obsolete, that is the cost for the whole country. Country. Oh, oh. Um, did they pee in the water or something? Um, not this. Not for this one. That's, I mean, <laughs> okay. a lot. Presumably, <laughs> that's that's kind of what sheep do. Um, is it maybe? Is it maybe something? To, I feel like quarantined is maybe a, a red herring here. Maybe they were just cordoned off. Maybe maybe they were blocking some kind of road or railway or they, something. They had to be prevented from meeting any other flocks of sheep. To stop them from telling them about how they can block roads, obviously. No. <laughs> well, you say that. Mm. Oh, 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 I know, I know. The, oh, hang on. Wasn't there a thing about um, sheep uh, like learning to roll over cattle grids or something along those lines? Oh. Yes. 
Yes. And there are millions of pounds worth of cattle grids. And if, if those sheep, if any other sheep saw those sheep rolling over cattle grids, then those cattle grids would be obsolete. All cattle grids would be obsolete. You would have to invent a whole new way of keeping <laughs> sheep in and cars across. Yes, the, the flock of sheep had learned to roll across the cattle grid to get yes. to places they weren't supposed to be. And wow, that's amazing. Incredible. And they would have taught that to other sheep, so they had to be quarantined to stop the knowledge spreading. The meme. <laughs> Which increasingly oh feels like an argument for being vegan. I've got to be honest, Luke, you are. Yeah. Imagine if we just let sheep talk to each other. They're Imagine trying to they evolve and we're not letting them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, there was another one. I, I mean, we don't have bonus points here, but 1997, uh, a group of sheep in Hampshire uh, came up with a completely different technique for getting across cattle grids. So other than the rolling, put yourself in the mind of a sheep. How else might they have done it? Stack on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping on each individual one, surely, is the most obvious way. Or getting into a car. <laughs> 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 oh, hold on. 1997. Is that not when Babe came out? Wait, hold on. No, this isn't about films. This is about real life. <laughs> Make friends with a talking pig, and then the pig will help you. Um, uh, you, you said something a moment ago, Cory. Oh. Um, oh, I said cli uh, stack on top of each other. Did they do that? One Did sheep lay actually... down on the grid, and the others used them as a bridge. Yes. Oh, my <gasps> gosh. Wow, they're so smart. You're kidding. <laughs> Goodness me. I have to add that this is all reportedly. Like, I, you, we've clearly seen the news article, how much of this is farmer's exaggeration and everything, but with, with two separate incidents in the news, something like this has definitely happened, I think, at least once. <laughs> Out of interest, Tom, um, when you say that one sheep uh, laid down and the others walked on top of it, is that one incredibly altruistic sheep, or did the, uh, the sheep sort of select the weakest sheep and sort of shove <laughs> it onto they, the cattle? I bet they bullied the yeah. sheep. <laughs> or was it one sheep that got stuck in the cattle grid and all the others were like, there yes. is a bridge here now. <laughs> Good luck, mate. We're off. <laughs> I feel like we should be letting these sheep go free. They're clearly smart enough to figure mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. Let them go. We're stunting their growth. So yes, in 1985, some sheep in Blanifestiniog in Wales were quarantined because they had learned to roll across cattle grids. 